Welcome to the Eclectic Philatelist, Episode 7, Accident Prevention, Stamps of Germany, 1971 to 1974. Accident Prevention, or Safety at All Times, were the titles for a series of German definitive stamps that appeared from 1971 to 1974. The series consisted of 11 stamps that were very simple sketches, just monochrome sketches on a white background. Each stamp showed a representation of danger or a possible accident situation. There was no text warning that was included on the stamps. The thinking was that the graphic themselves was all that was needed to indicate the type of hazard or the type of danger. The graphic shown on the screen is only showing 10 stamps, and that's because the 11th stamp is one I do not have currently in my collection. I've been searching for one. It's actually the same as one of the other stamps, except for a minor difference in the text along the sides of the stamp. And we'll take a look at that one in, in a little bit more depth here coming up. Uh, to go over the, the different stamps in the series here, I'll put up graphics of individual stamps. And the first one is uh, a five fennig, or the denomination of five pennies, if you want to use the English term. And it depicts fire from a match. So this was a fire hazard from, from uh, starting matches, perhaps playing with matches or something like that. Uh, the next one, the denomination is 10 and it depicts a fall from a defective ladder and someone tumbling um, off of a broken rung on the ladder. The next one is a uh, denomination of 20. It's a circular saw hazard. Um, this one is uh, kind of scary looking. <laughs> I think it's uh, someone getting uh, harmed by a uh, circular saw that probably doesn't have proper guards or something. Uh, the 25 denomination stamp next is uh, a drunk driving stamp, uh, warning people to uh, not drink and drive or you could end up upside down on the side of the road. The next one, uh, denomination of 30, is a hard hat and depicts a falling brick and protecting the man wearing a hard hat. And if you didn't have a hard hat, that would probably uh, cause a little damage. The next one, uh, a denomination of 40, it shows a defective electrical plug, and the danger is a danger of electrocution from a, a plug that where the cord is frayed or, or um, you know, not properly installed or something like this. Uh, number 50 is one that I kind of like. It's uh, or number 50, denomination 50, is a nail in a board and a person about to step on that uh, nail on the board, you know, something that could probably uh, possibly occur on construction sites and things like that. The denomination 60 stamp depicts a, uh, a playing child in a car, a child playing with a ball, and probably the ball might have rolled into the street and the child runs after it and um, risks getting hit by the car. Now, this is one where uh, there was a second stamp with the exact same graphic. It had a different denomination. It was uh, denominated as 70 Fennigs. And the only difference, since the graphic was exactly the same, the only difference besides the denomination was that the text along the edges of the stamp were in green on this one instead of in blue like the um, 60 uh, Fennig stamp. Uh, I do not have one of these with the green text. I'm still looking for it, and that's why it wasn't uh, shown in the uh, graphic here. The uh, next one, the 100 Fennec, is danger from a suspended load and shows a uh, load probably being lifted by a crane over someone, and they uh, probably shouldn't walk underneath that, and the suspended load better be properly secured. The next one, the 150 Fennig, uh, shows a barrier blocking an open manhole cover and indicating a risk of falling uh, down that manhole cover. Now, there are a few variations uh, on these stamps here, and one of the first ones that's most common and 
Um, I don't have a complete set of the, the variations, but one of the uh, ones that I'm looking for currently has to do with the uh, text along the, the right edge of the stamps. Uh, all of these stamps were printed by the Deutsche Budapost or the uh, German Post Office, but some were also printed by the Deutsche Budenpost Berlin, and that office was sort of a subsidiary of the German Post Office, and the ones with the word Berlin added were only for West Berlin, and that office handled uh, postage and telecommunications for West Berlin. So some of these stamps, and you can see by the, the graphic on the screen right now, only list on the right edge uh, Deutsche Budenpost, and some list Deutsche Budenpost Berlin. And that is the difference on the stamps. The, everything else is the same. The stamps with the Berlin marking were valid for postage until December 31st of 1991, and the German issues until June 30th of 2002. Now, these stamps were also available in a, a couple of different uh, formats. There were uh, booklets that were available that were initially perforated on all four sides, which was each stamp, which was pretty typical. But later, um, a couple of the booklets uh, had stamps that were perforated only on three sides. These were either cut at the top or the bottom, so the booklet cover apparently could be closed uh, with a more clean edge to it. And that was the first time that the German Postal Service issued stamps that were not perforated on all sides. Um, I currently don't have uh, any of those booklets or the ones that were perforated only on three sides in the collection. Currently uh, searching for those. Now, one idea on this series also was that uh, originally it was going to be produced exclusively in rolls, uh, but apparently there was some quality issues with the perforations on the rolls, and collectors especially uh, didn't appreciate that very much. So the Postal Service did uh, create a small edition of stamps produced in sheets that were just for collectors. So eventually, as the stamps evolved over the few years that they were available, the stamps were produced in a limited number of sheets, uh, mostly in rolls, and uh, there were some booklets also. Uh, a lot of the collectors uh, liked the stamps that might have been cut from a sheet. They would look for the, uh, a pair of stamps, for example, that has still had the margin intact so they could identify which sheet the uh, stamp was from and what its position was on that sheet and things like this. In the case of the regular roll issues, the number of stamps that were still on the roll remaining was printed on the back of every fifth stamp for better counting. Uh, in that series of these rolled stamps that had the numbers on the back, uh, this was the only series where the, the numbers were printed not just in black, but also in blue, green, and red. Uh, no other German stamps rolled issues that had numbers on the back um, were printed in anything other than just black. So this German series of stamps, uh, accident prevention or safety at all times, I think makes an excellent topical collection. Most of the stamps are not too hard to find. You can uh, find those online or from various dealers or if you're at a show. Um, I've been able to find most of these. Currently I'm looking for mainly ones with more of the roll markings on the back in different colors. I'm also trying to find some of the ones from booklets where they were not perforated on uh, all four sides. Uh, but it's a quest and you could uh, experiment more with collecting this and displaying these stamps. There's uh, a few other little tiny details. There was one source that I looked at while researching these stamps a little bit, and they said there were a few stamps also out there where the word Berlin on uh, the right edge of the stamps that had that designation. There was a uh, either a uh, an error or a, uh, a misprinted letter in the word Berlin, and uh, you could also try and find that. 
Um, I do have on order some of these stamps on cover. I didn't get them in time for making the, the video. They're coming from overseas, so it, it may take a while. In the future, if I find any other additions to these stamps, I'll post those on Instagram and on the uh, Eclectic Philatelist uh, Facebook page as well. Now, uh, not to be uh, uh, too picky here, but these stamps came out in 1971 through 1974. But were they the only German safety stamps? Mm, not quite. Uh, the uh, East Germany, the Democratic Republic of Germany, uh, as far back as 1969, had a set of stamps depicting uh, various safety or accident prevention type items. And I'll just pop a few on the screen here to close as we uh, uh, end the video here. Maybe a future video, uh, I'll go through more in depth the uh, East German versions. Uh, existed from 1969 all the way through 1975, either uh, traffic related or other safety issues. So again, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, thanks for watching again and happy collecting. See you in the next video.